Hi, in this video we're going through how to get gold in the GTA 5 mission, Driller. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old, grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game. Between GTA 5 and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online, there's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then in our continuing series, Getting Gold in Every Damn Mission in GTA 5, as we look at the Grand Theft Auto mission, Driller. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news, and giveaways, so consider subscribing and ring the bell to stay up to date. Getting gold in this one can be a bit challenging, but it's a whole mess of snipey fun. Before you get started on this, I highly recommend grabbing a sniper rifle with a suppressor and a pistol with a suppressor. And to get gold in this one, we'll need to avoid detection and complete the mission within five minutes. So let's pick it up from a restart outside the construction storage yard. We're just going to duck back across the street here. You see we're going in under the cover of night as well, which makes it a bit easier. We'll grab a sniper rifle out. There we go. And what we want to do is just start pegging construction workers. Okay, I think that's everyone visible here. So the next thing we need to do is go and hit the two guys that are standing in front of the shed there. Now we need to make sure we line these guys up so that we can get them both in one go. Might be just easier just to get a little less distance on them. Alright, zoom in. Make sure they're both there. Yep, can see them both. Alright, and then line them up so that we can get both of them as headshots in one go. There we go, that's both of them down and that security guard. Alright, sweet, that should be it. Let's just swap to the pistol, make sure we've got the suppressor in, just in case there's anyone else we spot. Alright, into stealth. And we're just going to sneak through the yard. Yep, there is one there. Have a really, really good look to make sure there's no one else around. Alright, I'm fairly confident that's it. So now we can just jump in the truck. And then head out the gate to the right there. We'll make a quick call to Lester, that's automatically done, and we just drop that because it's quicker and we can get the GPS marker up. And now we need to follow the GPS all the way back to the overflow car park for the Union Depository. Alright, now Will ask us to take a left up here, we just want to go straight through. Otherwise we'll end up doing an extra couple of bends which we don't need to, so straight over this intersection. And then we want to hang a left at the next intersection. Here we go. And that just saves us a little bit of time and a little bit of pace. Under the tunnel. Hang a left here. And then a right into the car park. So if you recall, this is the same car park that we pulled out of in the very first mission with Lamar and Franklin uh, when we were returning or repossessing those cars. And that's gold, so it didn't get detected, the Sneak Thief, so that's a lovely little Oblivion or Skyrim reference there. And of course the mission time which we absolutely stormed in with a whopping 37 seconds to spare. So, what are your thoughts? Do you have any tips for other viewers or could this have been done differently? Leave your comment down below. And check out the video on the left for the next storyline mission, or the one on the right for some more old grumpy gamer goodness. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.